everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing who is coming towards you and we have these little dice that I made and they're all different little things that we can know about the person coming towards you so we have we have the hair color eye color how and we also have when as well so these will kind of tell me a little bit more about this person how you're going to meet them and kind of yeah, a little bit more information about them. So let's get started with this reading. So we have group number one, two, three, and four. This is an 18 plus reading. So if you aren't 18 plus, then please click off this video now and let's get started into juicy details. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So let's see who is coming towards you. So this can be a romantic partner. It can be a friend. It's mainly aimed at romantic partners, so Let's get started. So we're going to start off with the sexual magic tarot. We have the Hierophant. Beautiful. Look at that. Lustful energy. Beautiful. We then have the Knave of Pentacles. Lovely. Which is the Page of Pentacles, I'm pretty sure. Queen of Pentacles. And then we also have the Three of Pentacles. Lovely. So a lot of pentacles, you guys. So you're most likely going to meet the person... <clears throat> through work so let's see what else we have loyal heart lovely so this is somebody who's going to be very loyal towards you angelite hematite and then from the astral cards we have the sun semi sextile roots and we also have capricorn so you're most likely going to meet someone who is either from work or we're gonna meet a Capricorn, okay? It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a Capricorn, but can also be a Leo, can also be many fire and earth I'm picking up from this group. Um, we're gonna go look at the cards and then we're gonna kind of go into the dice afterwards. So for you guys, I feel like this person is very, very loyal. They're gonna be somebody you're gonna be with most likely for the rest of your life. And this is gonna be somebody who you, it basically just flows really easily. So you don't have to basically, you don't have to force this connection. It's going to be somebody who is, as I say, very, very grounded, very, very in their element in terms of their roots. So they, they know about their, their roots, they know about their their background and things like that. But they also love to create roots. So they're definitely going to be somebody who would want a family with you if that's the sort of thing that you're interested in. As this is a general reading, guys, just take it as it resonates. So we also have Angelite and Hematite. Angelite is very much about the throat chakra and the crown chakra. So it's definitely going to be somebody who's very spiritual, very, very kind of very good at communicating and gonna be somebody who's very very strong and very rooted and grounded so also this is gonna be someone who's very very sexual someone who is very much like the leader in terms of sex they're going to be somebody who probably likes to use like candle wax or like liquids of some sort you know i don't know you guys think of whatever you like um it's definitely gonna be somebody who is most likely going to want to do stuff you in public if that's the sort of thing that you're into they're gonna be somebody who just can't take their hands off you and they're gonna be somebody who is very much just so ad like adores you they're gonna be somebody who really 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 adores you and they're very much um connected to their work like they're very very loyal to their work but they're also very loyal to you as well and they're gonna have a hard time kind of changing that because i feel like their whole life has been about their work but it's also because they've never met someone like you. So when I say a hard time, it's not going to be that hard. It's only going to be that that probably that first meeting, you're going to be like, oh my God, well, maybe I don't have time for, for work. But actually, this person I'm going to make time for in the relationship, okay? So it's going to be absolutely gorgeous, guys. It's going to be somebody who's so strong, so passionate. And they're probably going to be somebody who... I'm seeing like a lot of big boobed women. So if you have big boobs, this person's going to like that. <laughs> Obviously, this is for the women out there. Um... And this, you know, most likely you have brown hair, like brown long hair or brown hair. This person most likely has brown hair. They can be quite like a lot older than you as well. I'm kind of getting the words like daddy. So <laughs> they can be somebody who's a lot older than you. Um, you're, they're going to love your curves. They're going to love your body. They're going to love touching your body. They're going to love what you wear. They're going to love you in dresses and things like that. Because, you know, you can just like pull it up and do the damn thing. Um, so it's also, we have the queen of chalices here. And I love how we've got like a little, a tiny little, I don't know if you can see that, like a little chalice. It's got like a rose in it. So you guys are really kind of 
going to see you as someone who's very, very precious and somebody who they can have a really, really good time with. Definitely going to be somebody who's destined to be with you and most likely someone you're going to have children with. They might, they might have been quite a scandalous person. They might have been somebody who was almost like a fuck boy when they were younger or somebody who was really kind of like messing around with girls and now they really, really wanted to settle down. They could have just been somebody who had a very high sex drive and they had trouble kind of monitoring that, you know. So they're going to be somebody who now has matured and kind of sorted that out. But they also might be somebody who that you could have like a threesome with if that's something you're interested in. But obviously, guys, this is a general reading. If that's not something you're interested in, that's obviously you're not going to be your this this not going to be something that you're going to be doing with this person. But doesn't mean this isn't your person. Um, it can be very romantic as well. They're going to do things for you as well, which you think, oh, I can do that. But you, they're like, no, no, let me do it. So let's have a look at hair color. Let's just clarify everything that I have said. So let's see. Colourful, interesting. So you guys, it could be any colour, really. Colourful meaning also they could have like really bright hair. So that's really, really cool. So colourful, love that. Let's have a look at their eye colour. Blue or green, lovely. So their eyes could be blue or green. Let's. Sorry guys, you can hear my chair creaking. Uh, let's see how, how you'll meet this person. Through a friend. This can also be through a family member or somebody you just know it can be a colleague through somebody you know through a connection of some sort okay and then also when will you meet this person okay let's roll again this month so it can be whatever month i am whatever month you're watching this in so it can be the month of february or it can just be any month that you're watching this in so it can basically be this month that you could meet this person or you could meet a friend who you meet this person through okay so let's see if there's anything else I want to say. Yeah, I feel like this person could have been a really kind of confused person when they were younger, as in like they didn't really know how to exert their energy because as I say, they're very, very sexual. So they could, they could be somebody who needs to be like, who needed to get that out of their system before they met you. But now they're really kind of loyal and they're gonna be somebody who is very, very down for you, very, very down for you. And yeah, and probably goes down on you as well. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this reading, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. I also offer crystal recommendation necklaces. So if you'd like any of the crystals featured here in the necklace, please let me know. Um, or you can just ask for a crystal recommendation. My necklaces are £30. I will have more information about them soon. I'm looking and getting into my own shop. So look out for that very soon. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I also have an Instagram where I had do tarot. So that will also be linked down below. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see who is coming towards you. So let's start off with the sexual magic tarot. We have the full, lovely. So a brand new start with this person. So this might, most likely won't be somebody you know, but it can be somebody from your past, but we'll have a look and see. We also have the Eight of Swords. And we then have the Nine of Swords. Whoa, this is beautiful. I've never seen this card before. I've only recently just got this deck. So this is, those two are so sexy. I love that. So let's have a look and see what else we have. Breathe, lovely, very relaxed. Green adventuring and new opportunities, heart chakra, beautiful. It definitely seems like somebody, oh, I've got my table. Definitely seems like somebody you don't know. Blue lace agate, communication, throat chakra, wow. Somebody who's very, very watery, I feel like this could be a water sign. We have the moon, yup, water sign for sure, bow shell. 11th house, the edge. And we also have Libra. So I'm gonna have a look into the dice a little bit later on, but first we're gonna have a look at the cards and see what we have. Lovely guys, so let me zoom you in a little bit because it looks like it's really far away. That's better. Okay, so for you guys, sorry if you can hear my squeaky chair by the way. So this is gonna be somebody who is really, really down for you. I feel like it's very romantic, but also tries different things. I feel like this is a combination of two different groups. I feel like one part of this is very romantic and the other part is very, very sexual. So for a lot of you guys, this could just be like together. It could be sexual and romantic as well. For a lot of you guys, this person's gone through a lot of drama and heartache because we've got this tiny little guy here. He's kind of really sneaky in the corner and he's kind of watching these people do stuff. So I do definitely feel like this person has gone through some really interesting partners um, in terms of just learning and things. And we also have like a little secret thing here. So maybe you guys are gonna be in like a secret connection like you can't tell anyone. 
Um, maybe we'll find out why a bit later. Maybe because it's at work and you can't tell the boss kind of thing, you know, you, otherwise you'll get fired, you know, that sort of thing. So it could be that you kind of go to like secret places where you go and like have sex, where you go and do your, your, do your dirty thing, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you could do a lot of, have, you could have a lot of sex on different pieces of furniture, out in nature, camping, you know, random places in like a dungeon, I don't know, in like, I don't know, a cellar, that sort of thing. You just kind of can't keep your hands off each other. I feel like for a lot of you, this this group, it may take you a while to warm up to this person or this person to warm up to you, just genuinely because you guys are very much, you haven't really had a relationship for a long time, I feel. So it will take a little while, but I feel like sex is basically the second thing. I feel like getting to know each other is the first, sex is the second. Sometimes it's like sex and then getting to know each other, you know. Or it's more like sex is, sex just feels second for this group. It doesn't feel like really, really first, but I think that's just because you guys might be shy or you might be like, this might be your first time sort of thing. But this person's going to be really up in your feelings. They're going to be somebody who really, really respects you and really kind of connects with you. And with this breathe card, they're going to just be like, it's okay, like it's going to be fine. You guys might have a little bit of anxiety around this because it's just so new, but it's going to be really, really lovely. And it's definitely, definitely going to be somebody you've never met before. It's going to be a new opportunity. And this is really, really lovely. We have 11th house, the edge. So it could be through a friend that you meet this person, a group, create, group activity, meet them through um, like a group. Uh, community, um, humanity. So yeah, it could even be like a festival you meet this person. Um, but you also could be doing a lot of traveling with this person also. This person can be a really good communicator as well. Their communication is going to be absolutely on point. And I feel like this person is going to be somebody who's going to like buy you underwear and things like that. And the fall is just a brand new start. Absolutely, absolutely. I love how you got new opportunities and we also got the fall, which is a new start. And then we also have Libra, which is lovely. So this is going to be somebody who's very, very balanced, loves balance in their life. And also really appreciates beauty and possibly what you're wearing and things like that. They really take that stuff kind of seriously. Um, or you could be a Libra and you take that stuff very seriously. And the way they talk is going to be quite beautiful as well because they're very, very good with their words. And most likely dirty talk is going to be really, really good for you guys. And you, most, you may even meet this person around water. This person may even be a water sign, as I said, or you could be a water sign or both. Um, but yeah, this person's going to protect you with their life. I'm hearing the person's going to protect you so much. And you're going to be their number one. Um, they're going to be your number one fan. Um, for this, some reason, this snake is really confusing me. So I feel like this person, you may be worried about this connection just because it may seem like a too good to be true or something like that. And they, and the same for them as well. But actually, it's going to be really, really amazing. And what this snake is, is basically just thoughts that are kind of just going to pop up randomly. Um, and it's just only thoughts. It's not anything real. Fear is an illusion. This person is going to love traveling. They may travel to you from quite far away. And this person possibly lives like in the mountains or something significant about mountains and sunlight, something like that. So let's have a look at their hair color to start off with and see what we have. They may even have a cat or a black cat could be something that's quite significant. We have blonde hair, lovely, beautiful. Let's have a look at the eye color. We have blue. Lovely, so blonde with blue eyes, isn't that kind of a lot of people's dreams? So we have blonde with blue eyes, perfect. So how are you gonna meet this person? Through a friend. So yeah, that's the same as group number one. There's definitely seem to be something to do with friends. So I do feel like it could be in a group activity as well, or just through somebody or Yeah, it could be a friend, colleague, family member, that sort of thing. We also have 555 on the clock there. So when are we gonna meet this person? Sometimes it takes a little bit of a, a roll. One to three months. So it literally can be one to three months. So it can be like this month that you're watching this, but it can also be uh, two to three months ahead, you know? So, so that is your reading, guys. Um, I also feel, yeah, I definitely feel like this person's gonna like buy you underwear. I'm really getting that. I keep looking at her like underwear that she's wearing. And also that that cat, I don't know why I'm getting something about black cats, but yeah, something like that. I do, do feel like this person could easily be a Scorpio as well. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'm seeing air and water for this group mainly and earth, but it's kind of what I'm seeing. But actually, you know, all the star signs, let's see all the star signs because we have, uh, yeah, air here as well. Yeah, beautiful. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. If you'd like to get a crystal recommendation necklace, guys, I can give you, uh, I do this for myself. This is a little thing I've got on the, uh, my business at the moment. I'm making crystal jewelry. I can make either of these crystals into a necklace for you guys. If you would like that, I can also do a personalised crystal recommendation for you uh, for £30 at the moment. It will change. 
um, as I get my own website and things like that. So if you guys are interested, let me know. Uh, you can email me or Instagram message me. And don't forget to subscribe. Also have all my private readings down below. I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see who is coming towards you. Starting off with the sexual magic tarot. We have, ooh, Knight of Pentacles, lovely. We then have the Tower. And we also have the King of Cups. So that's lovely. So it could be most likely a water sign um, or an earth sign. Lovely. Somebody who's very, very mature. Someone who's, um, yeah, I keep getting the word daddy for <laughs> you guys. I got this for another group as well. It's so funny. Okay, so let's see what else we have then have serendipity lovely so it's going to be the way you meet this person is going to be really really serendipitous it's going to be like a way that you never thought you would meet this person it's going to make you feel really like really really lucky and then we also have tiger's eye animals solar plexus chakra which is lovely ruby passion root and sacral chakra and then we also have aries jupiter and a trine. So you're most likely going to be a fire, water or earth sign for this group. Doesn't have to be, but you guys, you know, take it as it resonates. We're also going to look into the dice a little bit later. So this is going to be somebody who is very, very, they've got a very good stamina when it comes to sex. Like they're very, very like good at doing it for a long time because they love it so much. You are going to both going to have a very high sex drive. Um, this person is very passionate as well. And I feel like for some of you, yeah, I feel like this person is very passionate. And yeah, this person has, is going to be, as I said, a very serendipitous moment. So when you meet this person, it may be a bit confusing because you don't really realise at first that they're your person. And then you meet them and you're like, hmm, I kind of have a feeling, but I'm not entirely sure. So I do feel like you guys are going to really kind of think about it. This person could also have like a really fancy car and you think, oh, this person's probably like you know a show off or that sort of thing they could be quite selfish but actually they just have a lot of money <laughs> they just have a lot of money um so we also have tiger's eye solar plex with jupiter so this is so funny because we have dice here as well so it's really interesting because it's something to do with dice like maybe not really gambling but it's almost it could be gambling but i feel like this person i mean it could even be dice for like you know like what i do like with dice it could be something like that they could just use dice in everyday life or something somebody who just continuously likes to play not play things by the rules and um, i feel like look out for like ferris wheels and rainbows as well because i feel like that's a very significant thing um also with this try and flow i feel like this person is very very much in the flow with it i feel like they're very passionate and when they're in the, when they're very passionate they're going to be very very in the flow both of you have very high sex drive though very very high this person's going to try and impress you and it's going to almost be kind of confusing but you're going to be like oh, do you know what I like you <laughs> it's gonna take a little while i feel like you guys um but this person finds you very very sexy they think you're someone who is really really attractive they will think you're somebody who is just so sexy they just want to do you pretty much every single moment of the day um especially at the start as well like it's going to be so so intense and raw and gorgeous and they're going to look after you and treat you like you're their queen and they're probably going to buy you a lot of food and you're probably going to have a lot of food after you've had sex as well or before you know but i feel like it feels like i just a, you're going to have so many days in where all you do is just literally have sex and eat and eat food um but yeah this feels really really good it just feels like an extremely flowing relationship and it's going to be a, a relationship that ow, just hurt, hit my elbow that really really hurt <laughs> um it's going to be a relationship that feels very expansive and i feel like this this may actually spark like an ex to come back because they may actually feel that you've moved on but i don't feel like this is going to be anything too dramatic you know it could just this could even just be your shadow side coming in like no he's no he's not the one that sort of thing you could be hitting things because i hit my elbow and now i've hit my camera and that is one key there we go um i hit my elbow and then i hit my camera so you guys could be really kind of feeling like nervous and knocking things over just because you just don't know what to do with this person they're just very attractive and you're like oh my god this is crazy so let's have a look at their hair color and see black lovely so the hair color is going to be black eye color brown interesting so that makes a lot of sense because a lot of people who do normally have black hair normally have brown eyes most of the time uh, and then let's have a look at how 
How are you going to meet this person? No, it's not going to tell us. You want to tell us? It's because it's serendipitous. That's why it took a while. So we have in nature. So most likely you're going to meet this person outside, walking your dog or going on a walk somewhere. It could also be that you're just literally going on a walk somewhere by yourself and you meet this person. It can be like a cafe, like an outdoor cafe. Somewhere in nature, you know, somewhere that's outside with just prominent nature around. You could even be at the beach, the woods, that sort of thing. So this month you're most likely going to meet them. So it could be the month of February that I'm releasing this video, but it can also be March or, you know, whatever month you're seeing this is going to be most likely when you're going to meet this person. So I also feel the need to just pull one more sexual magic tarot for some reason. I just feel the need to. I always do this for fruit number three and four most of the time. Okay, beautiful. So we have the devil, exactly. Oh my God, is this not just exactly what I was saying? Like you guys have a very high sex drive, very, very, and this person may be quite girthy, let me just say, okay? <laughs> Obviously if it's a male, um, <laughs> doesn't really make sense if it's a woman. Um, but yeah, this person is very, very attractive. Like they're gonna like sneak you off and just basically just romance you. And it may just bring up a lot of emotions because you may just be like, oh, I don't know if this is the right one. But this is going to be the right one, guys. And they're going to make you feel safe. They're going to make you understand that I'm going to make you feel safe, you know. And almost try and convince you. Because some, some of you guys have quite high anxiety. And it can trigger a lot of these emotions. But it's going to make you feel really good. And also listen through music. And I was listening to... Sorry, guys, but I just hit my mic. Um, I was listening to um, I'll Be by Edwin... Is it Edwin something or other? I'll Be is from a Hilary Duff film, The Cinderella Story. Um, yeah, that song. I don't know if you guys know it, but I was listening to that and it reminds me of that. And I can hear the violin in it. I'm definitely going to have to put like a little clip of it in front of this screen because I really feel like that is like that moment. Oh my God, it's actually so synchronistic. I literally just realised that. Because when in Cinderella Story, like Hilary Duff and uh, is it Chad or something? Is it name Chad? Oh my God, my memory though. They're literally in a place like this with, with flowers Oh my god, that's actually really interesting. That's so cool. Okay, so thank you so much, so much for watching, guys. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe. Also, if you'd like a crystal recommendation necklace, I can make it into either of these crystals. Uh, please let me know if you'd like one. They are thirty pounds. Haven't got a website up yet, guys. But if you'd like to order one, I cleanse them. I put an intention in there. I can also add Reiki in there also, and they basically help you to just manifest things in your life and to help you out in life. I can give you a crystal recommendation on anything in life. Absolutely anything can even be health as well. Um, yeah, let me know. I, I, please Instagram message me or email me. And if you, also, if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see who is coming towards you. And then I'm going to do the dice after I have looked at the cards. So let's start with the sexual magic tarot. We have the four of wands. Beautiful. Very patient, I feel like this person is. Seven of chalices, seven of cups. And we also have the queen of wands. Well, I've got quite a lot of queen energy, which is lovely. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have peace. Lovely. This person's so peaceful. I feel like this person's got definite Pisces in their chart. Very, very calm. We have Apophyllite, Connect, Third Eye and Crown Chakra. And then we also have Okinite. Past life patterns, all chakras. I feel like both these cards are very similar, actually. We then have Mercury, communication. Yay, my favourite card. <laughs> we then have the Numinous, mystery. And then we also have Cancer. So they're most likely going to be a water sign, I feel like, for this group. doesn't have to be, but I do feel like that. So as I say for the groups, this is most likely going to be a romantic partner, but you take it as it resonates. This, as I say, when I say this person's going to be really patient, I feel like there's a little, is that a tortoise? Is that a tortoise? Yeah, it's a tortoise. They're going to be going quite slow in the relationship. So I feel like they're going to take their time. Um, maybe they're going to have a pet who might actually watch you guys <laughs> do stuff. Uh, not on purpose, like accidentally. Um, <laughs> or they're going to like have a really unusual pet, like a lizard or a rat or a snake or maybe even a horse. I don't know most random pets so this person is most likely going to be i'd say very patient with you i don't feel like pretty much very similar to the last 18 plus reading i did before this person is most likely going to be quite delicate with you in terms of sex i don't feel like it's going to be very rough i feel like it's almost going to be like 
wow, this person wants me. Like, oh my God, this is crazy. Like, they're going to take their time with you and they're not going to rush anything. They're somebody who is very sacred. Like, they feel very sacred. They're very spiritual. They're somebody who's waited a long time for you. And the same for you guys as well. Both of you are very romantic. <coughs> Excuse me. So, they're also going to be very generous with food and their time with you and their money and that sort of thing and they're really going to set up their whole life around you pretty much they're going to like tidy up every single time you come around and that sort of thing and they're going to really treat you they're going to watch you undress as well and they're going to really really treat you like a queen um they're basically going to be as they very patient so sex isn't like the main thing in their life so when they do have it it's going to be like absolutely amazing and you're going to really really love it but i feel like that's going to suit you <clears throat> you know and if that's not going to suit you then maybe <clears throat> this isn't the right group for you but you know you never know but it's, it's up to you guys you take it as it resonates um this person i feel like you could have ginger hair because both of these women have almost like very bright hair but this person has very brown hair so i do feel like it could be you could be have you could have ginger or brown hair just as clarification don't have to be there guys um this i feel like there could have been four like three guys you could have met before you met this person um just you and they didn't really work out they're almost like fuck boys or they're horrible that sort of thing but this relationship is really lovely and you waited a long time for this guys i really feel like you have and um yeah it's gonna be really really lovely you're most likely going to be having sex outside a lot of the time and in usual places most likely at his house i feel like or her house and this person's gonna be really good at communicating they're quite mysterious so it may take a little bit of time to unravel this person um so it could be taurus or scorpio that sort of thing um they're very very caring they're somebody who's almost blocked off their emotions when they meet you because they have been let down so many times they're very very they're quite scared of opening up but once they do they're going to be really open to you though guys it's not going to be a problem this person's very affected by the moon or they have quite a significant moon sign they could have cancerian moon um they're very very spiritual they may not even realize they're very spiritual you may open them up to that or you could be the one that's less spiritual and they could be the one that's more spiritual you know it's not really kind of like a, a scale <laughs> with spirituality but you know i feel like you could be a very good influence on this person so also this person has definitely gone through a lot of past life um, karma and they've learned all of that. They could have been with three people before they met you just as a clarification that could just be something that is just a fact kind of thing. Um, they're very earthy though I forget I'm getting like Cancerian and Taurus and Scorpio vibes from this person. So they're quite private but when they when they're with you you are their number one you know. Um, and they're somebody who will open up to you when they're ready and the same for you guys as well they'll open up like a flower like this these flowers here very very feminine energy so they don't want to say feminine they could I mean they could be quite a feminine man but i feel also they're or, or woman obviously it's not gender specific and but i feel like the color pink is very prominent for you guys very very important especially pink crystals and pink flowers you know that sort of thing uh they could buy you that sort of thing also i just feel like you want to work together really really well so if you want a business with a with your partner i do feel like it's going to happen so let's have a look at their hair color and have a look and see they could also wear glasses i feel like i don't know what this is here is this glasses i don't know it could also be like chains or something so if this this person might like want to chain you up sort of thing like tie you up that kind of thing it might be what they're interested in they love like lighting candles and stuff like they love nature they love like anything like firewood they love camping anything out in the wilderness kind of thing so hair color black so they have black hair i'm just going to show you guys sometimes my camera takes a little while to focus so black hair come on give us an eye color <laughs> oh my god why are you not giving us an eye color Maybe it's because their eyes are like shut in all of the cards. <laughs> They're not literally not giving us an eye colour. That's so strange. Brown. Okay. Brown. <laughs> okay. And how will you meet this person? Through a friend. A lot of you guys have had that. That's so interesting. I feel like every single group has had that apart from group, th group three. Through a friend. That's amazing. So this could be a colleague, a family member a friend a random person on the street i don't know <laughs> probably not but i don't know it's just through somebody or through something you know very something very like prominent thinking like oh, i will never meet somebody like like through that way but then you're actually like no like you do meet this person so we have the 
uh, one to three months as well in terms of how you'll meet this person, like how long it would take. So that is your reading guys. If you would like a, um, a crystal necklace in the form of any of these crystals, then please let me know. I'm doing crystal recommendation necklaces for 30 pounds at the moment. They are basically uh, £30 only at the moment, but they will go up when I get, I get my own website and things like that. But I'm really enjoying doing them and lots of people have been saying they really love them. So I'm really, really happy with that. And um, I'll try and leave some information down below. If not, you can always message me on Instagram or email me for more information about that. Um, I cleanse them, I put an intention in there and they're basically to help you in any day li everyday life, guys, and to help you manifest things. So if there's anything you want help on, then that will be for that. And also don't forget to subscribe and all my private readings are down below. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.